Women's Scratch Race final here in Melbourne. A scratch race, of course, is just basically a sprint race. It's a distance race, and it's the first man, or woman in this case, to the line. Belinda Goss, uh, the 26-year-old Australian winning in Manchester, ahead of Romagnata of Russia and Shelley Olds of the United States of America. And away they go, then. Two riders per nation for some. And, of course, you can gain a lap at any time. You don't get any points, like in a points race or a Madison, but if you can nestle back in the, uh, in the pack again and just get dragged along at that sort of speed, then, of course, you will be the first person over the line if nobody comes past you or takes another lap as well. So that's essentially how it works. 40 laps of this circuit here in Melbourne and immediately the attacks going away at the front it's uh, Tagliaferro of Italy and this often happens you get two or three people just breaking it up straight away just for the viewers back home as well these athletes would have spent a lot of time in the track center probably would have arrived about two hours ago and would have done a really good substantial warm-up so it's not like uh, you get on the track and you have a warm-up period to get into your race you know they're well warmed up ready to go and uh, therefore that's what when you you know you jump into the race and people start attacking straight away you know if they weren't warmed up then they definitely wouldn't be able to do it and if they did it would hurt them quite bad so uh, trying to spice it up a little bit. It can be quite hard for all the women to try and gain a lap. Maybe if they start working as a team, a few of them break away, work as a team, they might be able to get a lap. But generally speaking, quite often you see the, the pace. You'll get a few youngsters maybe or inexperienced ones trying to go off the front. And I think after about two or three laps, they realise this yeah. is uh, causing too much damage. Oh, and crash. Uh -oh. One of the Ukrainians, and it looks like uh, a rider from Hong Kong. Uh, Shiplova was the Ukrainian on the on the charge, which means that a uh, teammate on the uh, deck and one of the riders from Hong Kong as well, by the look of it, in that sort of cl almost claret red. There we are. And if you're wondering, quite often the riders are strapped in or tight. You know, the shoes are attached pretty well to the pedals, which can. Uh, can find it you can find it hard to uh, to get even get out the pedals once you've crashed but they, yeah, uh, it looks like they've neutralized the race now as they go past the crash yeah it could be really difficult can't it they're not just uh, well these guys are uh, are generally just clipped in but yeah. uh, some of you guys are clipped and we, strapped we, get, and we get clipped strapped in and, and you might as well dr <laughs> drill and glue us onto the pedals you know we you don't want to be coming unclipped when you're going so fast so that's the reason but the only downside is if you ever do fall off you're still attached to the bike and you're going where the bike's going well, the race has been restarted then after that uh, incident a little bit earlier in this event. 17 laps to go then, and we start basically again as a race because the race was neutralized. As I said before, scratch race is essentially uh, just a sprint. It used to work as a handicap, which is why it's called a scratch race, because you used to scratch uh, a mark on the side of the track to where people started from. So if you had a, if you had form, so to speak, you would have to start further back. You used to scratch your mark on there, and or the uh, commissaires used to scratch the mark where you started from. So that's the way it was. Look, uh, Shiplova definitely trying to uh, get away. This is exactly what she did before her teammate hit the deck. So Irina Shiplova over with two laps to go then trying to get away but uh, they're going to shut her down by the look of it they've got the final lap and she legs are dying legs are dying legs are dying, legs are dying here who's going to come through for this one it looks like uh, is it russia and italy russia go through and take the uh, line first uh, yevgenia Romanyaita, i think of russia Number 187, it is indeed, takes the win. Timed it perfectly. Belinda Goss, though, taking uh, second spot overall because she won last time around. So uh, uh, Roman Yaita moving up a little bit. She came second in Manchester, of course. She takes the overall lead in this uh, UCI Track Cycling World Cup Classics. Lizzie Armistead gets one point from this uh, race but uh, her time comes a little bit later on in the points race uh, Romagnata 
from Russia then second in the last round.